Good day. Today I'm starting a series of short talks on the most basic principles of attitude first education. The first principle is to embrace the learning paradox. Learning is on the one hand automatic, unconscious, and impossible to avoid, but it is also deliberate, effortful, and avoidable, exactly the opposite. Traditional classroom practice assumes that learning is exclusively deliberate, effortful, and avoidable. The same paradoxical features are true of seeing, so let me demonstrate. Look at my face. Keeping your eyes open and pointed at my face, seeing my eyes, my chin, my cheeks, and my mouth, now stop seeing my nose. Keeping sight of all the other features of my face, use all your willpower and self-discipline to stop seeing my nose. How about it? Of course, you can't. Your brain is hardwired to see all the parts of my face at once, and so seeing my nose under those conditions is automatic, unconscious, and impossible to avoid. But with a slight tweak in the instructions, I can demonstrate that seeing also has the opposite properties. Now, look at my face, and in any way you can, stop seeing my nose. Under these circumstances, your willpower and self-discipline can be put to good effect because seeing my nose is now a deliberate, effortful, and avoidable task. Learning has those same features. It is paradoxically both ways. No matter where you are or what you're doing, you are automatically and unconsciously learning. What you're always learning are these three things. One, how you're managing your own and other people's attention. Two, how you exchange resources with your environment to meet your needs. And three, the patterns of consciousness that occur by being embedded in those attentional power structures and resource exchange processes. But modern elementary schools do not take these as the most basic lessons to be learned. Elementary schools are charged with delivering academic skills. Mainstream elementary schools are charged with eliciting from children the symbol manipulation behaviors, also known as the three R's of reading, writing, and arithmetic. And learning those specific skills is a deliberate, effortful, and avoidable task. But main, since mainstream classrooms are a logical extension of the ancient academies from which they derive their primary purpose, so their methods assume that learning in general is also exclusively deliberate, effortful, and avoidable, not paradoxical. So mainstream classrooms essentially ask kids to stop seeing the teacher's nose, but they ask some kids in a way that enables them to comply, while other kids are asked in a way that makes it impossible. Observers of those classrooms see how one set of kids simply did what they were asked, while the other set of kids did not. The observers correctly observe uh, or conclude that there is a problem. But because they are embedded in the system that does not even consider the possibility that learning has a paradoxical nature, they pass around lots of blame and propose solutions that don't work because they only understand half the, of the paradox of learning. Mainstream classrooms implicitly assume that the properties of learning, the specific skills of the three R's, are the properties of learning in general. This is not the case. And what I call the attitude-first approach to learning means teaching kids to play, practice learning in general before making them narrow their learning to specifics. This confusion about the true nature of learning is like the confusion about the true nature of light. In physics, up until the 20th century, the idea that light was, in fact, simultaneously both a wave and a particle was inconceivable. But after we came to properly understand light, it enabled us to develop the technology of lasers. Einstein himself laid the theoretical foundation for lasers, and the technology followed. The assumption that learning is exclusively deliberate, effortful, and avoidable is dominant, and the paradoxical alternative is mostly unthinkable. But in this case, practice has led the way, not theory. Dan Greenberg, one of the founders of Sudbury Valley School in Framingham, Massachusetts, teaches the entire kindergarten through sixth grade math curriculum to his students in just six weeks. But he only does this when there is demand for the course. At Sudbury, demonstrated desire to learn is required before courses are offered, which is just one of many ways to put attitude before academics. Mainstream classrooms set up situations in which they fight against the automatic, unconscious, and impossible to avoid aspects of learning. 
Redesigning schools with the paradox of learning in mind means figuring out what methods of putting attitude before academics will work in each particular learning community. When we can make attitude the highest priority in every aspect of the school situation, then we will get laser-like learning. Lasers are a natural extension of the inherent paradoxical properties of light, and in the same way, with proper understanding, schools can be designed to embody natural extensions of the inherent paradoxical properties of learning. Once we embrace a proper understanding of learning, then we will be better able to amplify the stimulation of human potential. But it's going to take some design changes to both schools and classrooms before that can happen. Thanks for watching.